on guys, welcome to the video. Um, so we're currently filming this while waiting for the uh, bonnet lip to dry. You'll have already seen part one of that video, that was the primer and like, prep and everything. In this video, we're going to be doing some more stuff to the headlights and license plate lights at the back. Also, sorry for the flickering, it's that over there. Can't help it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, my license plate lights on the back have started flickering. Uh, there were some cheap LED ones, and yeah, they, they've lasted a while to be fair. I've had them on there for, I don't know, seven months maybe, and they've just started flickering now. So, I've bought these new ones, uh, paid a little bit extra than you normally probably would want to. These are, I think they're called Canvas Error Free or something like that. So we've got the license plate ones and I've also got some uh, new side light ones. I don't know if you remember when I did the headlight uh, video, the, you know, the LED ones, the side lights were still like a quite yellowy colour. So these should be white, but it's the only one way to find out. So we're going to fit them today. And also, if you remember from a previous video, I did the wrap like along the bottom of the headlight as sort of like a Mark II RS sort of style. Now that I've got a bonnet which is in gloss black, I thought, because all the grills are gloss black, I thought it'd be a good idea to maybe wrap with gloss black instead of matte, which they are now. And a lot of people recommended to me to use um, cutting tape. So, yeah, we're gonna do, I think we'll do the license plate bulbs first because they're going to be the easiest. Take the headlights out, take them inside, and then swap them over and then do the wrap. <sighs> Looking at that, oh, it needs a good wash as well, doesn't it? Might have to do that after, uh, after this video. Right, so that, that's one out. Just, uh, I don't even know what you call that, but that's what you need. Pretty straightforward, and then you just pull it down, and there's your LED. What? Sorry, you couldn't even see any of that. There's your LED. Uh, what's in there before? You just bend them two prongs back, pull it out. Straightforward. If you don't know how to do this, then uh, <laughs> there you go. And it is just a quick comparison of the old one and the new one. Quite in there, I don't know why. Must have got some water in at some point. Um, don't think it's that one that's flickering, I think it's that one above there. But if you're going to replace one, you replace them both. I think as well, LEDs can only go in one way. So once you've put it in, just, uh, just unlock your car and it'll light up and see if you've got it in the right way. Uh, you can't really tell. <laughs> it has come on. But there you go, they seem pretty white and bright, so all good. I'm going to rip that one out actually and just compare, see if you can tell in daylight or not. So there we go, both of them back in. Nice and easy job, just test it. Yep, they're working fine. <sighs> I probably should have done it before and after shun at night time, but oh well. <laughs> Here's just a quick shot of the light before I change them over. See how they're white? They're obviously yellow. So I'm hoping that these ones are then going to be the same as that when I put these LED ones in. They're not very bright, so these LEDs on the front are definitely going to be brighter. So let's get to that now. There we go, lights out. <laughs> Looks uh, very weird without them. Right, so, take these inside now, get the old wrap off, um, I'm going to give them a bit of clean up as well because they're pretty filthy. What I rate boys as well, can anyone tell me what this um, like squealy noise is from, yeah, well I know it's the belt, but it only does it when you rev. Yeah, that squeak. What is that? And how do you stop it? <laughs> because it's just normally it does it on start up, and I've just started it up now, and it's not doing it until you rev. Can you hear it? I hope you can. 
If you know how to fix that, let me know. Right then, lads. So, here we are. Now, there's a bit of tape on there because I've decided I'm going to go higher up with it. This time around, um, we're going to go up to the top of this tape. So it's going to be, well, a hell of a lot thicker. Um, I'm just going to try it out and see what I think, but I reckon it might be even better. Uh, I'm going to be using this gloss black, what I've got. Uh, if you've seen the other videos where I've been uh, doing the bonnet lip in the garage, this is the same wrap that I tried to wrap the bonnet lip in. And if you remember, it has this like extra layer on top, which I found that if you peel it off, if you can tell, it's actually glossier and doesn't scratch. Like, I purposely scratched it there just to show you. Tried it on there and it doesn't do it. So I'm going to attempt to wrap them in this stuff and then peel this like top layer off and see what it looks like. If it looks like shit, let's be honest, then I will go back to the mat, um, but do a better job because yeah, it's a bit shoddy to be fair. So I'll set you up and we'll do a quick speed run through it. Every time. That doesn't make sense. Right then, so, there we have it. Um, that knifeless tape is pretty good, not gonna lie. Dead easy as well, or you, you literally just pull it and it'll cut for you. Like, it is as easy as it looked. It is pretty thick, I'm not gonna lie. It does look weirder on the camera, but I think when they're on the car, like, to the eye, it doesn't look that thick. Don't know why the camera's making it look like that. It's just the angle, I suppose, but. I think on the car it might look okay, so I'm just going to peel that thingy bit off and chuck it back on the car and then we'll have a look at it there. Right then boys, so I've just put that one back in the car now, um, I don't know, I kind of like it, part of me says it's too thick, but I can't tell, uh, I'll turn you around in a sec, um, I think the gloss is... It looks out of place just because how dirty the car is. I think if I wash the car and the grills and that are then shiny again, it'll fit in better. Um, I'll turn you around, see what I mean. So I'm just stood inside because I can get a further back shot, but. Ooh. What do you think? I quite like it. I've done it, so um, if I zoom in. It lines up with the bumper on either side. And it's slightly higher on the left. But, I don't know, what do you think? I quite like it. It is thick. I think when I get the other one in, I'll uh, show you again, obviously. Oh, and I'll put the LED in. <laughs> you can even see it there, look. That is why, and it is very bright, so the lights are good. <laughs> I'm going to do the other one now quickly, and I'll put it back in and show you then. We're done. Get it a wash. Um, a little bit later on it day now. Now, the grills and the uh, fog lights and that are all the same, like, glossiness. <laughs> I can't make my mind up. I don't know if you can really tell in video. I think they're too thick, if I'm honest. Uh, they, that's a little bit better. Step outside. I wanted to get a further back angle. But I don't know. What do you think? I can't decide if I like 
how it is now or how it was before that's about as far back as I can get it's not bad I'm not saying it's terrible but I think maybe halfway in between both of them lines would have been better yeah I think it's just a little bit too high in it I do like the gloss I think I think it'll look better with bonnet lip anyway what I'll do, I'll not rip it off until I've got the bonnet lip on and then we'll see, but I reckon you lot are all going to say should have stuck with what it were see from here I don't think it's too bad from the side I don't know let me know, let me know but to be fair I think they're going to be changed that's it for this one then boys, uh, cheers for watching, don't forget, let me know what you think, I can't tell, I can't make my mind up, scrubs up alright though doesn't it, it's had a bath, <laughs> not too bad, yeah let me know, um, I'm going to finish off just cleaning up, tidying up and that, uh, yeah cheers for watching boys, if you enjoy the video, um, just give a thumbs up, you know, comment, uh, let me know, and subscribe if you want, and we'll see you in the next one. Laters.